day, everyone. Welcome to Science for Young Minds with Merivit Education Center. This series is for Platoon 5. Let's learn some new words. Are you ready? All right. You will learn how to spell and pronounce some vocabulary words. Here are some important words for this lesson. Can you say them with me? Here we go. Number one, pea plants. Number two, zygote. Number three, embryo. Number four, hibiscus. Number five, allele. Number six, slender leaves. Number seven, heart-shaped. Please say the words by yourself. That was awesome! Let's learn more about each word. Are you ready? Please say the word with me. Pea plants. Let's say it again. Pea plants. Pea E A P L A N T S P plants That was incredible Can you say the word by yourself Great job A single sweet pea plant is tied onto each cane using twine or sweet P rings. Can you read the sentence on your own? Amazing! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Zygote. Let's say it again. Zygote. Z, Y, G, O, T, E. Zygote. That was fantastic. Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent. A zygote is the union of the sperm cell and the egg cell. Can you read the sentence on your own? Wonderful! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Embryo. Let's say it again. Embryo. E M B R Y O. Embryo. That was awesome! Can you say the word by yourself? Fantastic! An example of an embryo is when you have a viable female human egg that has been fertilized with a man's sperm. Can you read the sentence on your own? Great! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Hibiscus. Let's say it again. Hibiscus. H-I-B-I-S-C-U-S. Hibiscus. That was terrific. Can you say the word by yourself? X. 
Excellent! Hibiscus has been used by different cultures as a remedy for several conditions. Can you read the sentence on your own? Wonderful! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Alil. Let's say it again. Alil. A L L E L E. Alil. That was very good. Can you say the word by yourself? Well done! An example of alleles for flower color in pea plants are the dominant purple allele and the recessive white allele. Can you read the sentence on your own? Amazing! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Slender leaves. Let's say it again. Slender leaves. S-L-E-N-D-E-R-L E A V E S Slender leaves. That was great. Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent. Some plants have thick and fat skin, but some have slender leaves. Can you read the sentence on your own? Amazing! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Heart-shaped. Let's say it again. Heart-shaped. H E A R T S H A P E D Heart-shaped. That was fantastic. Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent! Some plants develop heart-shaped green leaves. Can you read the sentence on your own? Amazing! Hi! Today we're going to learn about Mendel's Law. Let's get started! In this lesson, you will learn who Gregor Mendel is and his contribution to genetic science. Also, you will learn and understand Mendel's Law. Do you know Gregor Mendel? How smart! Grigor Mendel is a genius scientist who is known as the father of genetics. Today, his work is still our foundation of our own understanding of heredity. Have you ever wondered why do we find each individual unique? And what makes the kids different from his or her parents? When humans reproduce, genes are passed on from their parents to their offsprings. As the offspring receive the genes from their parents, 
the offspring will have the traits that are similar to their parents. This explains why you look more like your parents than your friends or your teacher. Here are some traits that children inherit from their parents. The color of the hair. The presence of freckles. The color of the eyes. And the type of earlobes. What traits do you inherit from your dad? How about from your mom? That's really nice! Other examples are having a chin cleft, presence of widow's peak, and presence of dimples. Let's think. Are dyed hair and scars considered as traits that can be passed on from parents to offspring? That is right! Well, that is all for Mendel's Law. I hope you learned a lot. See you in the next episode.